a quick video to show how to exercise the integration between IBM Identity Management Protocol, IBM Verify, and Curator. Uh, I'll go through the configuration in a second, but just want to show what you get after you do that simple configuration. And here we have some events that came from it, from it. And you can see, for example, login failure. And this is the type of the payload, but the DSM, and it's very easy to install, uh, already it's created to get you see the rules that match multiple login failure. All, all these things are ready for you. So as soon as you start getting events, from this log source, the rule will begin to work with you. See that the username is extracted as an admin is used, is login and successful, all that is ready. Let's actually see in Curator what rules we have for that. So uh, here are all the rules that I have in my system. If I go here, and, and these are not all, but just as an example, and I filter everything that has to do with login, all the rules that have login in the name, I'm sure I'm going to get a bunch of them. Yeah, 33 of them. Authentication, login failure, disabled, multi-level failure. So all these rules are ready and will begin working for you as soon as you add that component. You need to do two things to add that. One on the IBM Verify side, and I already recorded a session that I did on that system. Let me actually play that back and show you what needs to be done there and then we'll do the curator part which is very easy let me replay that video to show you the steps you log in with that admin credentials into your tenant for, I, for IBM Verified you go into admin to you switch to admin there and then you click on those three bars of the hamburger and go on their configuration and you're going to add a new ID, right? So you click there, I add API client. This is the one that we are using right now. So, so let's actually click on the pencil to see what is it that we put in there. So it, we generated a, a client ID. And these two options need to be selected in order to get access to the logs. Manage report and there's another one, read report. You need to select those two, otherwise you will not get access to the logs. Once you do that, what you need to send to the person in IBM are three things. That client ID, that secret, and you have the icon on the right to do the copy, and then the URL of the actual tenant. That's all. Those three pieces you send them via email, and then on the curator side, on the admin tab, we need to go to the log source management app. We go to manage log sources. Let me sort this by creation date uh, to get the most recent one, the other way around. And this is the last one. Let's actually show the steps. So when you add a new one, so you're actually going to be clicking add a new on the uh, previous panel and then you are going to specify the following options. Let's actually edit this. So you're going to give it a name, IBM Verify. Depending on the version of the DSM you may have, you may find this under either IBM Cloud Identity, that's the old name, or IBM Verify. So if you have the latest, it should be IBM Verify. Once you are in this in this space, when it's, it specifies the type of uh, DSM you want to add, you have two options. You're going to select this one, the one that says Cloud Identity Service, right? Once you've done that, you go into the protocol and you're going to be adding those three pieces that I just show you that you get from the tenant, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the IBM Verified tenant, that URL, that Cloud ID, and that secret. And then that's it. All you need to do is click here, Test and start a test, maybe wait a few minutes. Oh, I, I forgot, because you are adding this manually, you will need to deploy changes. You I'm sure you know how to do that. You want to, well, I'll show you before we finish here. And then once that changes are deployed, you can actually go here and run the test and verify that everything is done. Actually close here, just in case you're 
sure you've done it many times you need to click here on deploy changes and you will have a bar here on yellow that said that changes need to be deployed because this was not auto discover because this is uh, some logs on the cloud that you need to add manually then you need to deploy the changes and that is it with just doing that you got now the events coming and you have the rules ready to fire and find things uh, based on this uh, log source.